All right, guys, so we're on Exodus 6. Exodus 6. So, at the end of Exodus 5, Moses says, God, what the hell? You made me make it worse for my own people. Because when Moses approached Pharaoh and said, Hey, I'm here on behalf of God. He wants you to let his people go. Pharaoh said, What? Are you kidding me? Now he said he's going to make it harder for their burden, their labor. Instead of supplying the straw for them to make brick, to make their buildings or whatever whatever the, the people of Israel are having to do for Pharaoh, now they have to do double the work and they're falling behind. So Moses is like, what's up, God? Like, you made it worse for me. So that's where we're at right now. Then the Lord said unto Moses, now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And God spoke unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord, and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. And I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. So he's saying, like, they never knew me as, as um, Jehovah. They never knew me, but you do, Moses. And I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And I will bring you in unto the land concerning the which I did swear to give it to Abraham, or the same land that I told Abraham I would give you guys. This is like the longest chapter God spoke so far in the Bible. Concerning to which I did swear to give it to Abraham, Isaac, and to Jacob, and I will give it to you for a heritage. I am the Lord. And Moses spoke so unto the children of Israel, but they hearkened not unto Moses for anguish of spirit. They're like, what? We still have to work this hard and for their cruel bondage. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Go in, speak unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, that he let the children of Israel go out of his land. So again, go speak to him. And Moses spoke before the Lord, saying, Behold, the children of Israel have not hearkened unto me. How then shall Pharaoh hear me, who am of uncircumcised lips? And the Lord spoke unto Moses and unto Aaron, and gave them a charge unto the children of Israel and, and unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. These be the heads of their fathers' houses, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanach and Palu, Hezron and Carmi, these be the families of Reuben, and the sons of Simeon, Jemuel and Jamin, and Ohad and Jachin, and Zohar and Shal, the son of Canaanitish woman, the son of a Canaanitish woman, like a Canaanite woman. These are the families of Simeon. So, and these are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations. Gershon and Kohath and Merari in the years of the life of Levi were 137 years. The sons of Gershon, Libni, and Shimi, according to their families, and the sons of Kohath, Amram, and Ish, Ishar, and Hebron, and Uziel, and the years of the life of Kohath were 130 and three years, and the sons of Merari, Mahali, and Mushi, these are the families of Levi, according to the generations. And Amram took his Jochebed, his father's sister, to wife, and she bore him Aaron and Moses, all right, so this is like the lineage of Aaron and Moses. And Amram took his took Jodshed, his father's sister, to his father's sister to wife, and she bore him. So he slept with his auntie, I think. So let's see where Aaron and Moses, they're Levi. They came. Uh, and the year, so their their father was Amram. And the years of the life of Amram were 130 and seven years. So Amram came from who? Yep, 
Yeah, so Levi bore Gershon, and Gershon. Wait, wait, so I have it right here. No, no, Levi bore Kohath. Yeah, so Levi, Levi bore Kohath, and Kohath bore Amram. Amram took him, took him, Jochebed, his father's sister, to wife, and she bore. <laughs> so Abraham came from his dad's. So Abraham, Aaron, and Moses, I guess they're brothers, or maybe I don't know. They came from their auntie. No, they came from their. Their stepmom and their grandpa's son. They came from the grandpa's wife, pretty much their grandma and their. Yeah, it's confusing, but that's what the years of Amram. So Amram. So they're from the line of the Levites. Uh, and the sons of Ishar, Korah, and Nepheg, and Zikri, and the sons of Uziel, Mashiel, and Elzvam, and Zitri. And Aaron took him, Elisheba. Aaron took Elisheba, the daughter of the Ammonadab, sister of Nashan, to wife. And she bore him Nadab, and Abu Ilizar, and Ithamar, and the sons of Korah, Asur, and Elkanah, and Abiasaf. These are the families of the Korites. And Eleazar, Aaron's son, took him one of the daughters of Butiel to wife. And she bore him Phinehas. These are the heads of the fathers of the Levites, according to their families. I think the Levites are actually like the religious sect of the twelve tribes of Israel. These are these are the Aaron and Moses to whom the Lord said, "Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Egypt according to their armies." These are they which spoke to the king of Egypt to bring out the children of Israel from Egypt. These are these are that Moses and Aaron from from the line of the Levi, from the from the tribe of Levi. And it came to pass on the day when the Lord spoke unto, spoke unto Moses in the land of Egypt, that the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, I am the Lord. Speak thou unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say unto thee. And Moses said before the Lord, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips, and how shall Pharaoh hearken unto me? Like, like, I, I, he doesn't speak well. That's what he's, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what they're saying, with uncircumcised lips, you know. So, again, just Pharaoh's hardening his heart. God says, go again, tell him, keep telling him, he needs to let you guys go, and then the author of Exodus breaks down the lineage of Aaron and Moses, pretty much.